Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School. Um, I'm Darius Donato. I draw indie comics, and today I made a video about the Ed Pisker situation, um, and I talked a bit more about personal stuff and how I saw things and how I deal with difficult stuff or with pressure. But this video will be called um, Ed Piscor was murdered and by cancel culture and we can't sweep this under the rug. So this video serves two purposes. Um, it acknowledges in my view, this is my personal opinion, that um, <clears throat> a person was murdered and that we cannot, we cannot let this pass. <clears throat> this is not a call to, let's say, violence or revenge or any of that stuff. It is just an acknowledgement that in my opinion, I think something wrong has happened here and that out of this darkness something good has to be born, something, maybe a stance we take and that cancel, cancel culture has to come to an end. So let me explain. Number one, whatever Ed Piscor was accused of, um, I think it's none not of our business like um not it's not that we cannot have an opinion about it or act on that opinion but we're not the law we're not a court and um last time i checked it was innocent until proven guilty um and what then happened i think is that um cancel culture, whoever those people are, I mean, he named th those people, um, they lashed out and they um, performed like slander to, I don't know, probably get him killed in his weakest moment. Um, I can't relate why people would do such a thing. Um, I had a bit of research, as you can see, on cancel culture and what um, your boy Zach brought forth in his videos to um, prove his point. And I will lead you up here and down in the link to a video that's called How Cancel Culture Destroyed an Entire Generation. A really um, good video. I checked also out um, a video from John Peterson and from Teal Swan. And it's not about if 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 the thing like let's say Ed Piscor did something wrong or he is guilty of something um then like justice or redemption or apology or you know doing learning from the wrong thing and then getting again to a state that is the right state that would have been the goal if uh, we would live in a good society. But I think what happened to him, I think it was about power. I think people used his mistakes to take his power away, to destroy whatever he was um, until he was no more. And as a consequence of that, I think he took his life. Um, and I also read a comment, I don't know if it was in the Your Boy Zach video or in another video about Ed Piscor. And someone said um, in a tweet, if Ed Piscor chooses to take his life, it's his decision. Um, it's not the responsibility of the internet lynch mob. And I think the person who wrote that is wrong. I think that the lynch mob is responsible for it to a certain degree. And I think this video wants to underline this, that a person 
has lost its life, maybe was quote unquote murdered. And this video wants to state this on the internet that I believe that that is the case. Um, what we do with this, um, I don't really know. But it should not be revenge, it should not be violence, it should not be something stupid or bad or evil. But it should be something intelligent and loving, but also assertive. And it should be something that is or resembles justice as close as it could be. And number two, it should be a call to action. And again, not stupid action, but what are we going to do about it? How are we going to push this um, cancel culture mentality back into its rightful place, back to zero where it belongs? Um, I mean, it's a, if someone calls, let's say, Ed Piscor out for a behavior that's not good, um, then it shouldn't be ours to judge or ours to, to lynch. Um, we have built institutions to deal with that. And I think those institutions should deal with it and not a lynch mob and not um, people who want who have personal grudges against this persons and use that to get someone killed. And yeah, that's it. I think the video ends here. It is just like I want to state that I believe that something very unjust happened and that we realize that and that number two, we think about ways um, on how to rectify the cancel culture and how to bring it to an end um, and really dialing it back to a zero or to a really small number that it leaves um, that whatever has infested us will now leave us and that we speak up because whatever cancel culture does it convinces us uh, us that we should partake in some, something or that we should not um, stand up for something or um, you know when the angry mob wants somebody dead it is hard to put yourself between um, whoever they want to lynch and the mob because you might get killed in the process too but as I see it That is the same mentality as maybe in World War II when the Nazis reigned or maybe in the George Orwell book 1984. It is a culture of fear and spinelessness and I think that the people, the perpetrators of this lynch mob were bullied themselves, um, were once innocent and perpetrated by others but we cannot let that happen. You and me, um, we have to stand up to perpetrators, to bullies, and we have to say no step further, no inch further. Um, and we've got to take back our land and we have to think about ways to do that if we can peacefully but also very strong in a strong way and to not give back even an inch see us in the next video